Turn your, turn your thing on there. Everybody got their microphones on? Mic's on, everybody? Yes, sir. I, I'd like to call the King George County School Board regular meeting of April 20th, 2020. All to order. I'd like to do the Pledge of Allegiance. A moment of silence. So I guess we want to announce that we have Dr. Benson, uh, Superintendent King George County Public Schools, on the phone, and we also have Kristen Tolliver uh, on the phone. They can hear us and speak to us. Kristen is not visible. I guess everybody, the, are we online or is we just recording? Yeah, we're, online. we're online. Okay. All right. Is Kristen there? Yes, she is. I am here. I guess you are. She is here. <laughs> okay. All right. So first on the agenda is a recognition month of the military child. Yes, Madam Chair, members of the board, um, we just wanted to include um, this resolution from the governor. Um, it will also help us. The, this year we are... Um, uh, chipping away at some of the requirements that um, are associated with the Purple Star designation, which is a uh, Department of Defense uh, designation uh, recognizing school divisions that um, meet certain criteria in support of their students who uh, are members of a family uh, that that, uh, that is serving our country. And so um, obviously with our uh, proximity to the, the Naval Base, um, we thought it was an appropriate uh, designation for us to pursue. And one of the uh, requirements is that we recognize formally through our school board the month of the military child. Um, and we uh, have included this resolution from Governor Northam. Uh, I don't know if you want to read it, Madam Chair, or, or someone there. Where is it? Mm -hmm. I didn't. Okay. Sure, I can read it. Would you rather I read it into the uh, record? I've got it right here. Okay. A 2020 Virginia School Board Association's, oh, this is the honor roll. Yes, it's the honor yeah, roll. We want the military child. This is the honor roll. <clears throat> All right, Dr. Benson, you got it. I don't have a copy of it. I do. I have it right here if you'd like for me to. Yes, please. Go ahead and do it. Okay. Uh, whereas April is the is uh, April is the month of the military child, a special month to recognize and pay tribute to military families and their children for the daily sacrifices made, and for their commitment, courage, and unconditional support of our armed forces. And whereas the Commonwealth of Virginia is proud to be home to more than seventy five thousand children whose parents serve in the military and are stationed in Virginia. And whereas Virginia has the highest number of military school age children in the nation and is committed to being an active participant in the interstate compact on educational opportunity for military children, which facilitates military children transitioning in school systems across state lines. And whereas the children of our service members continue to make significant contributions to schools, communities, the nation and our Commonwealth despite prolonged and repeated absences of one or both parents. And whereas in partnership with the Virginia Department of Education, Virginia's public schools remain committed to the care and education of the children of the men and women of our armed forces. And whereas the Virginia Department of Education and the Virginia Council on the Interstate Compact for Military Children awarded Purple Star designations to 104 schools for 2019 and 20, for their excellence in supporting military connected children and their families. And whereas by partnering with, partnering with school liaison officers, 
military leaders, educators, and community organizations, the Virginia Department of Education provides the unique support needed for military service members and their families during all stages of transition and deployment. And whereas Month of the Military Child reaffirms our commitment to ensuring excellence in schools, child care, and youth services to military children who face unique challenges that other children their age may never experience. Now, therefore, I, Ralph S. Northam, do hereby recognize April 2020 as the month of the military child in our Commonwealth of Virginia, and I call this observance to the attention of all our citizens. So again, we work very um, cooperatively um, with the, uh, the base liaison, and um, we certainly are, are happy to support our children who are um, of a military family, and we appreciate the service that their parents and family members uh, provide and have provided. So thank you for that opportunity, Madam Chair and members of the board. Thank you. Okay, at this time we'll move on to the public uh, employee comment. Do we have anybody? Nope. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, are there any changes to the agenda? No changes, Madam Chair. Awesome. All right. Uh, now we have the consent agenda. Uh, Perkins Grant. Yes, I'll, uh, Madam Chair, members of the board, uh, real quickly, mm -hmm. both the consent agenda items are annual items. The first being the Carl Perkins Grant. That is a federal grant. Uh, we receive funds through the federal government, and I believe you have a uh, uh, an overview of the uh, of the proposed uh, use of those funds. Uh, in order to accept and utilize the funds for next year, uh, we need the uh, the board to uh, to consent or to approve uh, the application and in so doing uh, assure the federal government that we will expend the funds or utilize the funds in a manner consistent with their guidelines. We appreciate your consideration there. The second consent agenda item um, are simply a matter of uh, designating formally those who in my absence uh, uh, would be designated to uh, perform uh, certain procedures uh, requiring authority vested through you all as a school board. And again, that's an annual procedure that uh, we conduct. Thank you. I know we usually don't vote with the consent agenda. But... Well, motion? motion to approve? approve the Carl Perkins grant as presented and the superintendent designee Dr. Bennett, who are the superintendent's designees? For the record. Can we just do one at a time? Can we normally do one okay. at a time? So, um, so I have a motion to approve the Carl Perkins grant. Do I have a second? Second. Um, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. aye. Thank you, Kristen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the superintendent designees? I'm make a motion that we um, accept the consent agenda portion designated as superintendent designees. A second. Any discussion? Who are they? Yeah, Dr. Benson, for the record, did you want to name who the designees are? You can put it on the... He's muted. Do you want he's to... He's got to unmute. I, I apologize. The audio is, is not... Um, Unless you're right at the microphone, I can't, it's real muffled. So I apologize, I couldn't hear that question. For the record, we would like for you to tell us who the designees are. Okay, Ms. Bushrod, I believe. Uh, yeah. Christine Hill, and that's why I didn't want to say it. Elizabeth. Ah, okay. How do you want to, somebody want to say your name? Yazerski. Yazerski, there we go, sorry. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chairman, aye. aye. Motions to seat. All right. All right, next we have the action item, the 2020 VSBA business honor roll. We have that here. Yeah. On the I assume um, you received, I think, Ms. Bushrod, if I'm correct, you, were, you had distributed to each of the board members physically present, and I sent by email to you, Ms. Tolliver, um, 
the, the brief descriptions for each of the nominees we'd like to recommend to the BSBA. Oh, I see she's passing that out. But that uh, Ms. Hawk requested, I believe, at the last meeting, just a little quick um, overview of each of the groups that we'd uh, recommend you nominate to the BSBA for this year. And again, we're limited to three each year, but we'll continue to do this year after year, um, given we have many partners in the community who, uh, who help us. Okay, I'll go ahead and read the 2020 Virginia School Board Association Business Honor Roll. Whereas public schools and local businesses are an integral part of, our com of this community, and whereas many local businesses play a crucial role in supporting our schools, and whereas the economic health of our community, state, and nation depends on a strong public school system, and whereas collaboration between local public schools and local businesses strengthen schools and the business community alike by providing a well-trained and highly educated workforce, and whereas an excellent public school system is vital to the quality of life in this community and fundamental to preserving a strong democratic society now and in the future, therefore be it resolved that the King George County School Board names Campbell's Vending, Life Point Church, and King George Family YMCA to the 2020 Virginia School Boards Association Business Honor Roll showing appreciation for the firm's ongoing support of this community's public schools. Your work has aided this community in focusing on the goal of providing the best public schools we can for every child who attends them. Okay. Do I need a motion? No, I don't need a motion for action. I don't get this confused. When they vote. Oh, we already voted on it. Yeah, we do. Need on it. Yes. I move that we accept the recommendations of Campbell's Vending, Life Point Church, and King George Family YMCA as uh, our recommendations for the VSBA 2020 Business Honor Roll. Do I have a second? A second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. aye. Sorry, Chris, I keep cutting you off. <laughs> okay, so we have discussion items, King George Elementary School camera purchase. Yes, Madam Chair, members of the board, uh, we did receive some good news prior to the um, to this, uh, this situation. Uh, there was residual funding left in the 2018 um, state security equipment grant, and uh, consequently the state has awarded uh, our division uh, some funding to help support uh, the installation of additional cameras um, at King George Elementary School. Um, this is a grant. This is why this is coming before you. Um, we'd like to utilize these funds. There is a, 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 a uh, I think it's a 20% match or an amount, and it's in your, uh, in your packet uh, that we would then uh, utilize locally to uh, accept the grant funds and utilize them accordingly. So um, we're pleased to receive this um, and uh, we would like uh, your consideration and hopeful approval. I know that it's under discussion, um, it's certainly up to you all. Uh, part of the grant is that the funds need to be expended, I believe by the end of June or at some point in June, uh, which is not too far away. Um, so we are certainly anxious to try to get this before you to get it approved so we could utilize those funds. I'd be happy to answer any questions or at least field any questions and communicate back to you uh, through Mr. Hopper um, if you had any, but um, appreciate your consideration. And if at all possible, your um, exception to standard practice and maybe considering this for an approval this evening. Can you describe, is, is this a security camera? Is, yeah, right. is that correct? A security camera? <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, Ms. Hawk. I, is it for security cameras? Yes. Is that the question? Yes. Yes, I believe so. Um, it says that it, it will allow uh, more outdoor and indoor camera coverage. Oh, I'm sorry, I cut you off. No, I'm just saying the rationale, it states that this will allow more outdoor and indoor camera coverage for the school using security grant funding. So so indoor and outdoor saying. cameras for yeah. security. Okay. Yeah, again, I apologize you all. It's just real tough to hear you, but I, is our rationale to add cameras 
it, yeah, on the, the funding, is that the question? Or we, the? No, we we asked why where the cameras were going to be used, and I just read off of the document that we got that states yes. that rationale was for outdoor and indoor camera coverage. Okay, yeah, right there in the last sentence of the background um, should should give you the information about where uh, this additional coverage would help. Mm -hmm. I wonder what Mr. Hopper's going to use with the extra 40 cents. I move that we proceed to accept um, the grant from uh, Virginia Department of Education to purchase security cameras. In the amount of? I don't have the amount in front of me. 17573 with a local requirement of $4,578.62. Can you? I will repeat that. The, um, the amount to be awarded is $17,573 with uh, a um, matching amount, local amount of $4,578.62. For a grand total of twenty-two thousand one hundred and fifty-one dollars and sixty-two cents. So I move that we do you, need need a, do you need a second? Is that where you are? Yes. 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 I second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Action approved. Thank you. Okay, next is um, information items. Do we have any committee reports? Ms. Gonzalez? Um, I do not. The Technology Advisory Committee was supposed to meet on the 2nd of April, I think, and it was canceled. So I have Ms. none Tolliver. at the time. Okay, I'm sorry. Ms. Tolliver, did you have any reports? No, I do not. Ms. Hawk? No, mine was canceled. No. Nope, I don't either. Okay. Next, we move on to the superintendent's report. Thank you, members of the board, Madam Chair. Um, I have two quick things. Uh, first, uh, I just want to, it's been a while since we've been together, and I just want to express my appreciation um, for all of the folks who over the last several weeks have come together to put together a plan to um, step up and um, prepare, uh, distribute, meals, um, schoolwork, uh, teachers who have reached out uh, to individual students uh, to create, in, in many cases, individualized learning plans uh, for those students and um, our, our, our transportation employees who have helped uh, in the delivery of meals. Just there, there are many groups and there are many individuals who have um, performed actions that will go uh, relatively unnoticed, but they make a huge difference in this very challenging time. And I, um, I so appreciate them. And just before this meeting, I had a chance to look at a, at a, at a virtual choral concert uh, from involving some of our middle school students that uh, uh, one of my colleagues sent to me. So it's just, um, it's gratifying to see people uh, adapt and move on and um, adjust to the new normal and continue to support our our students and our families. So um, my heartfelt thank goes out to them. Um, they do great work and in and, and very trying circumstances. So thank you to all of them. Um, secondly, um, the budget is, is at the forefront right now at the state level. Um, I have received a preliminary, just a number or an estimate in terms of the amount of state funding that will be uh, reduced as a result of the governor's recommendations to the General Assembly. Uh, as you may know, the General Assembly will reconvene on the 22nd of this month, uh, and following that assembly, um, they should then approve a state budget. Shortly thereafter, uh, school divisions will receive a new, what we call a calc tool or a calculation tool, where we will be able to definitively um, determine the uh, the state funding for fiscal year 21 and at that time then um, I can overlay that that figure onto where we are in the budget process uh, and begin to then um, 
formulate recommendations back to you. But that's kind of where we are budget-wise. We're, we're awaiting the General Assembly reconvene. Once they reconvene and make decisions, um, I get a new calc tool and then I'll be able to move forward in this process. I've been in communication with Dr. Young uh, and I reiterated that timeline to him. Uh, so I anticipate uh, early May is when we would probably be able to uh, uh, communicate back to the Board of Supervisors uh, our new status in terms of revenue and then any adjustments that uh, you all consider and ultimately approve uh, in order to make uh, make ends meet, so to speak. That's it. Those are my two uh, two points I wanted to bring up tonight. Thank you for that opportunity. Thank you, Dr. Benson. Okay, we'll move on to board comments. Kristen, let's do you first. Ms. Tolliver, do you have any comments? Uh, I can't. Hello, um, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you fine. Well, I don't know if I'm talking too loud. I've never done this before. Um, <laughs> I couldn't say that any more eloquently than Dr. Benson just did. And additionally, I would thank all the students and administration and staff for their patience in this very unprecedented time that we're going through right now. That's all I got. Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez. Okay, um, so I participated in the VSBA webinar uh, the role of the school board during the COVID-19 pandemic on the 3rd of April. And so the, I did find it was useful, the guidance offered, I don't know if anyone else called into it, right, or participated, because um, uh, the guidance was to basically that our, be that our primary role was to be informed and to let our, super, our superintendent lead. So to that end, I would like to extend a great thank you to Dr. Benson on your calm and steadfast, steadfast leadership. It's unprecedented time. Um, I registered for the VSBA school budget webinar, which I think is May 7th, instead of uh, attending in person, which I was looking forward to. So anyway, there's that. Um, and then at the last meeting, I suggested or you know brought up the topic of developing and issuing a climate survey potentially to families. Um, I guess on more giving it more thought, I think it would potentially be beneficial to also extend one to teachers and staff. I don't know. Um, and so I know there have been a lot of really pressing issues going on right now. But so I think maybe we could revisit that when the time is right. Um, I think an action from the last meeting was for Dr. Benson to potentially compile a list of current surveys that are issued. Um, and then I know, I guess I just wanted to revisit uh, Ms. Pantera's recommendation at the last meeting to reinstitute the to-do list from, I guess, the previous uh, board, the action or the action item list. I know there was discussion about re, um, revamping it a little bit, but I thought that was a good idea. So that's all I have. You might need a to-do list to get the to-do list done at this point well, with everything that's going on. Yeah. Well, it's in my to-do list, so I'll keep it going. Thank you. Ms. Hawk, you want to go? Yes, indeed. Um, I, I do want to reiterate, and, and I don't think we can say it too loudly, that um, we appreciate, Dr. Benson, first of all, your, your consistent and uh, calm attitude during this time. And I know behind the scenes, there are folks in your office um, at the, at the school board and at their homes. I know Ms. Hill and Ms. Yazerski and Ms. Fisher and uh, et cetera, et cetera, I, and probably too many to name that are really at their desk, maybe physically as well as theoretically. Um, I think there are so many efforts made uh, from the uh, from Ms. Picarillo at, at the bus garage, and uh, I know Ms. Davis at, uh, through the cafeteria and the new division plan. I think it's it's just remarkable. Um, I do want to, to know, and I think you I sent a, you an email, Dr. Benson, about I'd really like to know uh, the number, the counts from the schools about the number of packets picked up, um, and and uh, the if we could get from um, Mr. Hopper, a count of the uh, people who have tuned in or signed in on Clever, uh, just as this is some kind of an ongoing statistic of utilization of our services. Um, I do think the packets um, are really, really unbelievably helpful. Uh, I've had a number of calls from 
all the different schools and all the different school levels from parents um, with both positive and negative um, discussions about how they proceed and uh, the difficulties of being a homeschool parent. And, and I have to, to add just sort of a chuckle because having spent many years with our homeschooling instruction program, I know that all of our home instruction parents are sitting at home feeling, feeling very um, uh, proud of themselves and, and how their curriculum is, is now being observed by others in the community and being very helpful. I think our home instruction community has, has reached out really nicely to provide help to the folks who are new to home instruction. That being said, I do wish that um, our, I do hope that all of our teachers at all levels, especially the elementary, are reaching out in some way to their students. I know some teachers are doing group Zooms. Uh, I know some teachers are, are sending emails to students, but so, so many students are not receiving contacts that I, I think we do need to really reiterate that children need contacts from their teachers from, from all ages. Um, the, other, the third and last thing that during this crisis, we really need to make sure that we're paying attention uh, and that we'll be able to do a lessons learned after this is over. The, the one, the one consistent thing about all crises is that we can learn from them um, and that we need to be noting what we're doing well and what we're not doing well so that, so that we can prepare for other situations. So that's all I have for tonight. Thank you, Ms. Cox. I have no comment. Nothing? Okay. Uh, I just want to uh, pretty much reiterate everything else that everyone's saying. Dr. Benson's been doing a, an awful, awesome, not, sorry, awful, awesome job. Um, also, um, yes, he's pretty awesome. But the um, cafeteria workers and the bus drivers that are taking their time and helping with the school lunches, I think that's amazing as well. Um, I I'm really think that we're blessed to have such a community that's not only small but very tight-knit, and everybody's coming together to get through this. So, okay, I think that's it. Any other comments? Do have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Kristen? Kristen. Kristen. What's up? Aye. I got three. <laughs> I forgot to turn my microphone back on. All right, the meeting is adjourned. Uh